Hi, I'm Steve. You can call me Steve. I usually start out these videos with a personal anecdote related to the topic at hand. Sometimes it's been a stretch to find something relatable, but I've usually managed it. That's not happening today. A little while ago, I stumbled across somebody's retweet of somebody else's Reddit post asking why their eyes were puffy after they poured their own pee in them. I was so baffled as to why anyone would want to do that, I knew I had to make a video about it. Hmm, guess I found a personal anecdote after all. Alright, strap in, because today we're going to cover everything you've never wanted to know about urine therapy. I shouldn't have to say this, but this is clearly garbage. No right-thinking, rational person could ever think that gargling piss could possibly be healthy for them, right? Right? As quackery goes, it's quite new. Its history goes all the way back to the 20th century, when British naturopath John Armstrong published a book about how wonderful drinking his own urine was. It was 1944, so maybe the stress of the war was getting to him. For some reason, this book was not met with universal scorn and derision, and gave birth to an entire movement of pee drinkers. I can't fathom how this could possibly catch on. I mean, it's pee for crying out loud! I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what got into me. It's not just the West that's bought into this. Crackpots in India and Thailand have tried to claim that it's part of their ancient medical practices. However, this is only true if you don't bother to read any of the relevant texts. Both India and Thailand have long, prosperous histories, and you don't get that if you make a habit of drinking your own pee. I, I mean, it's pee! It's a waste product! What the f- They say you're not supposed to yell at your audience, but in this case, I think it's justified. Who in their right mind could possibly think this is a good idea? Bear Grylls is not a role model! What the hell is wrong? My apologies, but this is really pissing me off. Where was I? Urine is a waste product. It's full of the garbage that your cells make while they're doing their thing. It's mostly salt water, but the main component that isn't salt water is urea, which is a byproduct from the breakdown of proteins. The initial breakdown product is ammonia, which is toxic, and turning it into urea is a way of rendering it non-toxic while it's stored awaiting disposal. Thing is, it's only non-toxic in low quantities which is why it gets moved to the bladder and excreted as soon as possible. It's also irritating to the skin, the eyes, and the respiratory tract. This is why your eyes sting when you pour pee in them. Why are you doing this? Stop it! Don't do that! Someone will claim that urine is natural, therefore it has to be good for you. Big deal. Spider venom is natural too, and I don't see anybody injecting themselves with that. For the love of God, don't inject yourself with spider venom. It won't cure your cancer, or give you superpowers, or whatever else you think it might do. Urine is a waste product. It's full of things that your body has no use for and wants to get rid of. It's what happens when you let your body detox itself. All the things it finds toxic end up in the urine and get flushed. And then they get flushed again. Unless you're outside. Once you've gotten rid of these things, you don't want them back. That's urine therapy. It's a thing that should not be. Do not do this. Do not let anyone tell you that you should do this. If a medical professional recommends it, they're not really a medical professional. Stop going to them and don't give them any money. They're a quack. They will not help you get better. I don't care if you feel better. It's just a placebo. Basically, anyone promoting drinking or bathing in or doing anything else with urine needs to piss off. Thanks for watching. I've been Steve.